this week's weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday. Just dropped the children off school and Lawrence and I are now going to go and head out to town to Primark to do a bit of shopping because Lawrence is off work today. Uh, Lawrence wants some new shoes, I need some new shoes so that's what we're going to go and look for so I'll probably get back to you now once we're heading to the tram. Is looking for shoes. So while Lawrence is looking at the shoes, I'm coming to look at the boys' clothes for Leo. This one's new. I don't think they had this last time. It's a Pikachu hoodie. Seven pounds. He'd like that. I think I'm definitely going to get him this. He really liked this when I showed him and the Sonic ones. They're his size. So this is the one that's three to four. Oh, I don't think they've got his size in that one. Two to three. Oh, five to six. That's his size. I'll show Lawrence. We might not get all of them today. Let's get a few. That one's nice as well. I really want to get him this top. I'm not sure Lawrence will like me. That or this t shirt. They got his size. This one's nice, it's got Pikachu on the back as well. And it's got matching uh, joggers. So we found some clothes for Leo. When I showed Alice pictures, I took off clothes. This was the only one that she actually liked. Just looking at stuff for Alice. Alice is super picky, but we did show her these and she said she liked these Lego things. So, so we decided to get a few things. We're hoping Alice will like this. Hello, <laughs> We're hoping she'll like it. We'll find out. Okay, so Lawrence has gone to the bank. Trying to out his banking app. I'm going to look in here for boots because I need some boots. Managed to buy myself some new boots from there. So I've got some new boots. Now I'm just going to go to the toy shop because it's nearly Alice's birthday and I need to try and find some things for her birthday. And I don't really know what she wants this year, so. Just gonna have a quick look in the entertainer. Mm, they've got some Gabby dollhouse, just like Gabby dollhouse things. Just gonna see what they've got in here. So this is what Alice has asked for. This cuddly cat wrap. Don't know why, this is the one she absolutely loves. She wants that 17 pounds. So I think this set is actually on offer, £18.40. She might like that. It's got cat rat in it. And it's got that one, that's her really favourite one, the fairy. She might like that. So I'm just looking at things Leo might like for Christmas. I think he's got all these tracks now. I don't think he's got that one. He's not got this one actually, that's this one. I'm just a little cranky today. <laughs> oh well. Hi Cranky! Oh we'd love that. He talks to Cranky. I might have to think about getting him that for Christmas. $47.99 to show Lawrence. He'll love that. Oh hello. Hi, Just spotted they've got a Gabby's dollhouse watch. Oh, but it's not got cat rat on it, so she won't want it. It has to have cat rat on it for her to want it. There's a Paw Patrol one though. Maybe she might like that one. Does that have a scar on it? Just seen this PJ Masks. I think they'd like this with these, they don't have these and it's only 11 99 that's a really good price that is a good price I'm tempted to get that, it's 60% off it hmm. I'll show Lawrence when he comes So these are the new Paw Patrol movie ones. That one's 
good. You should probably like that. £50, man. I also really like bluey. There's a few bluey things. I like really, Alice really likes Sonic Prime. So she might want one of these. Also, I don't know who this bunny is. Is this from the new one? She might like, she loves bunnies. I've just come to Greg's for some lunch. Nice. What did you get? Uh, plus a donut and slush roll. Hi, so it is now quarter to two. Yeah, quarter to two. We've just got home. I just thought I'd quickly show you what we got because we did buy a few things. Got some clothes for the kids from Primark. I bought some boots. Lauren's bought some shoes. And we just bought a couple of things for the kids for Christmas. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what we got. Okay, so from the entertainer, we just bought a couple of things. We got this for Alice because she really likes Gabby's dollhouse, but she only likes certain characters. So she likes this fairy one and she likes Cat Rat. I couldn't find any sets with just cat right in, so we got this. It was 20% off, so £18 for the set. So that's going to be for her birthday, which is in December. And for Leo, for Christmas, we found this. So he likes PJ Mask. Um, this should have been 29 99 It was down to 11 99 which I thought was a really good price. So we picked that up. They only had a few left. So I thought it was really good for 11 99 You don't get many toys for that price these days. So he really liked that. So we got those two from the entertainer. So then from Primark, I got Leo a few things. So we got him this Pokemon Halloween top, which he's absolutely gonna love. We got him this Sonic and Knuckles one, which I think Alice may want. So there might be fights over that one. Uh, we got Leo this, he really liked this last time I showed it him and he really wanted that so we got him that one and then we got the Sonic top and jogging bottom so those are the things we got for Leo and for Alice I just picked her up a few things I got her this gorgeous pink dress I think this is so pretty but I don't know if she'll wear it so we've kept the receipt so we may have to take that back but I just thought it was really pretty and I think she looks so cute in that so we got that then I showed her this in a picture and she actually liked this one so she should like this one because she likes reindeers and she said she liked it from the picture so fingers crossed that one's all right then I also showed her these in a picture from when I went last week I took some pictures of these and she said she liked these so we got her these sort of lego top and jogging bottoms and this one is a switch hoodie and um leggings and then this t-shirt so she said she liked that one as well so those and that dress we should be all right because she said she liked those this one is a is a we'll have to see but she loves pink so fingers crossed she'll like this because i think this one's really pretty that's everything we got for alice and Lauren's picked up these shoes or boots and uh, they were £20 so we got those from Primark and then from yours I just picked myself up some black boots I'm hoping these will be okay because the last ones I bought they kept cracking here where the heel is I think it must be the wear walk because I got I returned some and got another pair and the other pair did the exact same thing and I just didn't take them back because I thought I can't take them back twice so hopefully these will be okay. It must be the way I walk. But I needed some waterproof shoes because I didn't have any. So these are extra wide, triple E, and they were 49.99, so quite expensive. So I hope they'll last a bit longer than the last pair. But yeah, got those. And that's everything we got from the shops today. Hi, so it is now quite a bit later. It is just coming up to six o'clock and I'm actually going to head out to the Lowry because I'm going to go and see a dance show at the Lowry tonight. I'm going to go and see dragons uh, at the Lowry. I've kind of been invited to the press night for it, so I'm going to go and review it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Nice relaxing day. Um, once we got back from the shop, so we did have to go to the school just to have a chat with Leo's teachers. Um, 
So we've done that, we've got home, fed the kids, and now it's time for me to go out. Lawrence is off today, so he's gonna look after the kids. And I'm gonna go by myself, because I couldn't get anyone else to come with me. So I am gonna head out now, and I'll get back to you, probably when I'm at the tram stop. So I've just arrived at the tram stop. It's five past six, show starts at half seven. There's a tram due in one minute. And luckily I don't have to buy a ticket, because I've got one already this morning, so. It's a double tram. Oh, it's coming already. So I'll get back to you now once I'm at the Lowry. So I just realised I got on the wrong tram. Went to the Eccles one. Okay, so I'm just walking up to the Lowry now. Um, so yeah, I got on the wrong tram. I got on the Eccles tram. I thought all Eccles trams stop at Media City. Apparently not, they have to say bye at Media City. Luckily I noticed before I ended up in Eccles. But yeah, nearly here now. It's only a short walk from where I got off anyway. But if I hadn't noticed, I don't know where I would have ended up, but luckily I could see it. Two <laughs> was going down that way, I'm like, oh, it's going the wrong way. But yeah, nearly there now. about to go and head home quite early still even though I got on the wrong tram I had to walk a bit still really early but I'm gonna head in anyway have a look around the theatre So it's only 10 to 7 and I've got ages to wait yet. So I'm just gonna sit here, look at my phone for a bit until the auditorium opens. I think it opens at 7 and I can go in, but yeah, until, until then, not got much to do. There's no programs for this, it's a digital one. Um, but I suppose I could read that on my phone before it starts. But yeah, I'll probably get back to you now once I'm going into the theatre. So as we've got a bit of time, I just thought I'd have a little look around because they have like artwork and stuff up here. And this is where the model of the Lowry is. Row N. Can't remember what seat. Okay, so I'm just heading in that one. Row N, seat 27. So lift up the seats now. Row N. So this one, seat. 27. Okay, so this is the view from my seat. It's a really good view actually. Um, it's quite interesting how they use projections and stuff in there. So you can already see the projection on the screen. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'll obviously give you a full review at the end of the show. There's no interval for this show. It's um, an hour and 50 minutes. So yeah, I'll get back to you now at the end of the show. Okay, so the show has finished. It was actually really good. I actually really enjoyed it. It was actually a post-show talk, but there's a match on, and I want to get home before the match. Um, people come out, so I'm not going to stay for it because I've got a massive headache. So yeah, I'm not going to stay for the talk. I'm just going to go home, and yeah, hopefully get home before all the match traffic come out. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm home.
Hi, today is Thursday and today I am actually going to be heading to Sheffield to see a play called We Could All Be Perfect. I'm going to review it so my tickets were kindly gifted by Sheffield Theatres. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to go and get the train there. I'm getting there a bit early so I can go and get some food. Uh, the show doesn't start till 7. I think my train gets there around 5. And yeah, it should be a good day. So I'll probably get back to you now once I'm on my way to the tram stop. Okay, so I'm just at the tram station now. There's three minutes to my tram. And it is three minutes past three. So I'll get here at eight minutes past, which gives me 40 minutes to get there, which should be plenty of time. It should only take a maximum of half an hour. So yeah, I have no idea what um, platform the train's going from today. Because I bought my tickets off a different website when there was a sale on, so I'll have to check when I get there to what platform it's on. But I think it's usually about platform four or five, so it should be from there, hopefully. now trains due to leave in 18 no yeah 18 minutes but it's just arrived it's this one here at platform four so i'm just going to quickly go to the toilet and then i'm just going to go and get on the train so i'll get back to you now once i'm on the train okay so i think this is my train so i'm gonna head in yeah it says Sheffield. arrived in Sheffield just at the train station it is about quarter past five and the show doesn't start till seven so I'm gonna go and get something to eat I'm just gonna go to the Weather Spoons that I always go to when I come here because I know where it is and it's easy um, so that's what I'm gonna go and do now so yeah luckily it's stopped raining I've got a massive winter coat with me because when I left Manchester it was absolutely chucking it down Lauren said it was going to be raining here as well, but it's quite nice here. It's like I've missed the rain. Anyway, I'm going to walk up now. Uh, I'm not going to film me walking up because I filmed that last time. So if you want to know how to get to the theatre, then look on my previous vlog. I think it was the one where I came to Life of Pi. And I'll show you how to get the theatre from your train station. So, yeah. 
to get back to you now once I am at Weatherspoon. So I just arrived at the theatres now, so it's in the Crucible tonight in the Playhouse Theatre. I think it's called Playhouse Theatre, the smaller theatre. So it's in there. Originally I was going to go to the press night of the Drifters Girls, which is on here in the Lyceum. However, I got looked at trains and stuff. I was have to have left that press night early and missed the end of the show. I don't think it's fair to review a show if you miss the end. So I'm coming to this press night instead because it's on the same night, which does mean that um, when it finishes, I have a massive wait till my train. It's only it's only an hour and a half long. It starts at seven. So it finishes at half eight, and my train's not till eleven minutes past ten. So I'm gonna have a massive long wait. Um, but never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some food. Obviously, it's way too early to go in. There is like a little cafe in there. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some food first. Okay, so I've just arrived at the Banker's Draft. Oh, it's a web spoon, so it's where I always come for food when I'm in Sheffield, so I'm just going to go get some food. So my food has arrived, I've just got what I always get, chicken, burger, chips and a diet coke, so I've got, I've got about an hour till I need to be at the theatre, so I'm going to eat this, then I might get myself a cake or something from the theatre cafe. So yeah, I'll get back to you now once I've finished. So I've just finished my food now, I just had to nip into a shop to buy a charge of my egg what I had wasn't working and they only had 60% left on my phone it's gonna last me today get home and obviously I've got that like hour and a half wait for my train so I needed a wire so I just wanted to cut that I was probably ripped off I was charged ten pounds I usually pay about two or three pounds for anyway got one now and now I'm just gonna to head to the theatre it is about six o'clock doesn't start till seven for about an hour but I'm hoping to maybe try out the cafe and get cake or something so here we are, we right back at the theatre and this charging cable is working, my phone is finally charging. Don't have to worry now, I can charge while I'm in the theatre. Yeah, it's about to head in. So and this is what we're seeing tonight. And yeah, there's an hour before it starts, so hoping I can go into the uh, cafe there. And, uh, Just come to the cafe, there's not a lot left. I think I'm gonna get a millionaire shortbread. So it's now 20 past six. I'm just sitting down to have my cake. I just got a millionaire shortbread. I'm gonna try that in a minute. So not sure what time the auditorium will open. The show starts at seven, so it shouldn't be too long, I don't think. I'm gonna eat this and then head in. It's quite quiet in here today. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the show. Uh, like I said, there's no interval, so I'll get back to you at the end and let you know what I thought of it, because I've got a long wait after the show. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna eat this and I'll get back to you probably just before I go in. Now, this is nice, but it's actually far too much. I'm only going to be able to eat half. I think I'm going to have to wrap half it up and put it in my bag for later. I'm not going to be able to eat all this now. So anyway, this is a little cafe area in the Crucible Verde. Just there. And it usually sells like hot foods and cakes and things, but they didn't have any hot foods. They only had a couple of cakes left. I think there was only this and one other cake. But usually do sell more. Yeah, it's a nice little cafe area. Okay, so this is my ticket for tonight's show, so I'm on the stalls level. Um, there's no seat numbers, you just sit wherever in the stalls level, so yeah, there we go. Also, there's no physical program to this show, there's a digital program. 
which you can get online. So this is the digital program here. So I can have a little read of this before I head in. Entrance to the playhouse here to just see yeah. it. Not sure if it's open yet. Well, that looks like it's in. But like it's half oh, six now, so it should be open soon. Okay, so I'm just heading into the playhouse theatre now. I've never been here before. interesting there's a lot of our music so I don't know that's hear me but yeah I'm gonna get back to you after the show okay so the show has finished now I really enjoyed it it was interesting it was different um, but yeah it was good and you can see the crisp up behind me it's all lit up quite nicely so anyway it is about nine o'clock now i've got an hour till my train so i'm going to slowly walk back to the train station and then when i get back i'll tell you all about the show but yeah really enjoyed it i messed up the curtain call because my phone came on uh, there's loads of messages that i had to get rid of so you only saw the back of them <laughs> but it was really good anyway um so yeah i'll tell you all about it once i get home okay so i'm back at the train station now i tried to rock really really slowly to kill a bit of time but i've still got an hour and 10 minutes on my train i've got ages to wait i'm hoping maybe lawrence is still up and can ring him and talk to him but yeah i've got a long wait now i did look at buying another ticket but it costs more than the, t the return ticket that I bought so yeah I'm not gonna waste money on that I'm just gonna wait the hour somewhere okay so it's half nine now I've got half an hour so I'm just gonna head to the platform it's platform six so eh? I'm just gonna walk and wait at the platform just so I definitely don't miss it The tram station just in time it's due like now it's just been so there's a bit of a delay but it should be coming any minute okay so it's 20 past 10 and i'm still waiting for a tram apparently there's delays across the network due to some emergency at one of the stations so yeah it just says delayed and everything 
hopefully it'll come soon. I can hear a tram. Fingers crossed it's the old Dringham one. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, so getting home has turned into a bit of disaster. All the trams through Dean's Gate have been cancelled. And I got to the bus station, just missed the, la the bus, the second to last bus. And now I've got to wait for the last bus, which is until half past midnight. Which is really annoying, I just missed the previous one. So yeah, half past midnight now is the next one. And it's only just five past midnight, so I've got ages to wait now. Hi. Hi, so it is now 12.40 and I'm finally home. That was an absolute nightmare. Couldn't believe it. So if, I don't know how well I explained it, but there was a problem with the trams. They were all saying delayed. Any tram that was going through Deansgate apparently something had fell on the overhead lines and they were trying to sort that out so it still said delayed so we all waited around assuming that they'd they'd stop again soon and it it didn't seem to be coming on waited i think my train got to piccadilly i think it was 11 minutes past 11 and i probably got down to the tram bit by about i don't know 12, 30 minutes past 11, it doesn't take long to walk down there and by by 10 to midnight it then, all the alternate trams just disappeared off the board and the only trams on the board were saying Victoria so the delayed alternate tram disappeared so I thought right well this means it's not, it's probably not coming so I hopped on the Victoria tram and got off at Piccadilly Gardens because I thought well if trams doesn't come maybe I can get a bus so by the time I got to Piccadilly Gardens I just missed um, a bus home so I had to wait for the next one the next one that I thought was the only one I could get was half past midnight but then I saw as I was waiting a bus to Alteringham I thought I'm sure that must have to go through where I live so I asked the bus driver and it did and it actually stopped quite close to my house. It was actually less of a walk than if I got a tram. So it was all good in the end. So yeah, I think I got on that bus at uh, quarter past, quarter past 12, something like that, 10 past, 10 past, quarter past 12. So yeah, anyway, I'm home, thank goodness. So yeah, the show was good. I enjoyed the show. But whether it was worth the hassle of getting home, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have something to eat because I'm really hungry. I'm just going to have a packet of crisps. And then I'm going to head to bed. So I will get back to you tomorrow because I've got to get up really early to take the kids to school because Lawrence is at work early tomorrow. So I'm just going to quickly have something to eat and then I'm going to head to bed. So I'll get back to you tomorrow. Today is Friday, Lawrence and I have just come to Asda so we need to pick up um, some school shirts for Leo that we ordered so we've come to Asda to pick them up and then we're going to have a look, a little look around Asda uh, we want to get Leo some new shoes although we've not got a lot of time because Lawrence needs to be back to go to work so we might not be able to get him some shoes today we're going to have a little look around, the plan was to go to Primark I don't think we're going to have time but we'll see so yeah, we have a little look around Asda. 
So Lauren's just gonna go and attempt to get our parcel from the parcel machine. How cute is this little Dracula Mickey outfit? Leo loves Dracula Mickey. It's 15 pound there, but he looks so cute in that. Have they got a mini dress? Oh, they have. And they've got this cute little mini dress. Alice wouldn't wear this, but that is cute. So they've got this bluey top. Alice might like this. Leo's got his Pokemon one. Alice might like that. Olive got that one. Hi, so we're just back from the shop. We did buy a few things. I just thought I'd quickly show you what we bought. Um, and then Lawrence is going to head to work. So we just got a few Halloween bits for the kids. Uh, some pyjamas and some photo frames, but I'll just quickly show you. So I just picked up some pyjamas for Alice. We've got these unicorn ones. I don't know if she'll wear them. We're going to find out when we show them because, like I said, she's super, super fussy over clothes. So we'll see. We've kept the receipt in case she won't wear them. We'll just take them back. I just got Leo dinosaurs. He loves anything with a dinosaur on, so we know we're fine with Leo. Got some photo frames to put some of the kids' pictures in. Um, then we just bought a few Halloween bits. So Alice absolutely loves Angel, um, but she doesn't like things with Angel and Stitch on, just Angel. And this happened to be just Angel, so I think she'd really like that. So we got that for Halloween, that was two pounds. Then we got Leo the Stitch one. We got them um, both one of these little wind up toys because they love these things. We like having little races with them. So got Alice the Witch, got Leo the Little Skull. And then we picked them both up a Halloween book. I actually used my Asda reward vouchers with this, so they actually didn't cost us anything because I had seven pounds on there. So I got Leo the the dinosaur that pooped Halloween book, and I think it's got like yeah spooky flaps inside, so it's like a flat book with things hiding. And then I got Alice the Halloween Paw Patrol because she loves Paw Patrol. So that's everything we got. From the shops, these are obviously going to go away for Halloween. They'll go in a Halloween basket. So I don't really need to get them much more for Halloween. Usually I just get them like something to paint and some chocolates and stuff. So yeah, shouldn't need to buy too much for Halloween this year. And there we go. That's everything we bought. So I'm going to put this away, get some lunch, and I'll probably get back to you later. Hi, today is Sunday and today we are going to go and take the kids to see the new Paw Patrol movie. They both absolutely love Paw Patrol and they've been asking to go and see this. So I think this is the first weekend it's out. So we're going to go into town, we're going to take them to the Printworks and see it there. Um, Printworks is more expensive now since we last went because they've changed it into one of those theatres where they have all the fancy seats so it's like eight pound each which i'm not happy about i'd much rather sit in a normal seat and pay six pounds but never mind so we're gonna go there today we're gonna go to the 220 show in i think um it just allows us to have lunch before we go and stuff so we're gonna go to that show in so yeah i'll probably get back to you now once we're on our way to go and see Paw patrol
and seeing Paw Patrol. The kids enjoyed it, except there was a bit that they found scary, so Leo cried a bit towards the end, and he says he doesn't want to see it again because it's too scary. Um, but until that point, they really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so we're back now, but we did pick up a few things from the shop while we are there. Before we left, we ordered some stuff from Argos because they had a few things on offer in Argos and also on Argos if you sign up for their newsletter you get a £5 voucher off a £40 spend so I got a £5 voucher, Lauren's got a £5 voucher and then I had I have two email addresses so I managed to get two £5 vouchers um because there were a couple of things we wanted to get the kids for Christmas and Alice's birthday um so we thought it's a good way of saving a bit of money on them because they were also already on offer as well so yeah i'll show you what we got okay so these this was the first order that we made so we've got these for leo because he has the talking um thomas and percy and nia and what's the other one diesel so he's got all those talking trains um so he wanted some more talking trains so these are usually 26 pounds each which i think is really expensive um but they're on offer on Argos for £16, they had £10 off them, which I thought was really, really good for £16 to talking train. So we got the new ones, these are new ones. We got Whiffy and is it Kenna? 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 Um, so we got those two. So those were £16 each. And Alice really wanted this cuddly cat rat. She's really into Gabby's dollhouse at the minute, and cat rat is her favourite. Uh, these was we saw this the other day in the entertainer. It was seventeen pounds, but it was on offer for eleven pounds in Argos. So we got those, and then we used a five pound off voucher as well because altogether that came to forty three pounds. So then we used a five pound voucher off that. So well, that was a good saving on them. So we got those. So those are obviously for Leo for Christmas. That's for Alice's birthday. And then these are the other things we bought. So for Alice, I got her the Gabby dollhouse house. Uh, this was on offer at £49.99. I think it's usually about £80. It said you were saving £30. I don't know anywhere that actually sells it for £80. I'm not sure. But when I was looking around, that's about the power price most places are selling this for at the minute. Most people have it on offer for £50. So... I thought I might as well get it from there, use the £5 off voucher, so we ended up getting it for £45. I do, I really think these things are quite expensive for what they are, I mean it's not, it's just a bit of plastic really, but she really wanted this, so I got it. You can also buy extra rooms that clip on to here, so you can buy six extra rooms to make it bigger, so... Yeah, um, we might buy some more extra rooms, I don't know. Because when I'm looking at the extra rooms, they're just the same rooms that are here. The exact same rooms, they're not like new rooms, so I don't know. Maybe we'll buy some extra rooms for her, if that's all she wants. Because obviously we've got to get her stuff for her birthday and for Christmas. And right now I'm really struggling to find anything that she actually wants. So they're not going to get a lot for Christmas this year, just because there's nothing that they want. And there's no point buying stuff just for the sake of buying stuff so yeah they're not going to get loads for christmas this year because they just they just don't need it and they, they've not really asked for anything there's nothing they actually want so these are the only two things that they both like asked for so that's that's leo's main christmas present that's alice's main birthday present i have no idea what i'm going to get alice for christmas i really don't know she doesn't really she hasn't really asked for anything else other than little things um which have, we've already bought for her birthday, so yeah, I'm not sure what Alice is going to get for Christmas, but this is what Leo's getting, so he's getting this, he's got the two trains to go with it, I bought him a PJ Masks in the other day, and that might be all he gets, because he doesn't really want anything else, he's not asked for anything else, so that might be all we get him, get them this year, so it's not going to look like a very lot under the tree, but I'm just not going to buy stuff just for the sake of buying stuff, if they don't want them or need them they still play with all the toys they got last year so yeah so far unless they ask for something else this might be all that leo's gonna get for christmas because it's all he's wanted but anyway this is a talking cranky set he's really into the talking trains at the minute so if they had more talking trains i'd buy more he has asked for a talking gordon a talking 
James, but they don't sell them anymore. They're really old ones. So I've looked at maybe buying them secondhand, but I can't really find any that aren't ridiculously expensive. More expensive than the brand new ones. So unless I can find some cheap secondhand ones, then he's probably not going to get talking Gordon or talking James. But those were the two things that you actually really wanted. But never mind. He's got his talking Cranky and it comes with a talking Thomas. So he has already got. <laughs> he has already got a talking Thomas. <laughs> but it's the older style talking Thomas. These are the new ones. Oh, okay. So I don't know if Alice has asked for a talking Percy. So I might actually get Alice a talking Percy. A oh, it's singing. I oh, no, just turn it off. I'm just a little cranky today. <laughs> oh well. Hi, cranky. Okay. So this, I think this was forty-seven pounds uh, in Argos. I think it was the same price in the Entertainer. I think they both have twenty percent off it at the minute. Um. So I don't think that was too bad, £47. We got £5 off it using the voucher. So yeah, I didn't think that was too bad. So that's all the stuff that we got from the shop while we were out. They did actually see these in the bag, which was so annoying. The bag wasn't quite big enough. Um, so I'm hoping they'll forget that they've seen them. I told Leo, they didn't see exactly what it was. Leo just saw that it was this. Thomas thing he probably guessed because he has asked for this so I said oh well it's going to Father Christmas and he seemed fine with that and I told Alice hers has to get wrapped up for her birthday I mean she'd asked for it so she probably knew she was getting it anyway because it's the only thing that she's actually asked for but yeah we should have got a bigger bag <laughs> anyway I'm gonna put these away and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff away and I'm going to end the vlog here because we're not going to be doing anything else today. We're just going to be bathing the children now and then getting all ready for bed. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. I honestly can't remember what I've done this week. I think I went to the theatre twice. We've been to shops quite a lot. Um, but hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.